Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, I am a styling, skincare, hair care, self care enthusiast. I don't have any training in anything, I just have people ask me my opinion sometimes on different things and so I wanted to make a YouTube channel to share what I know. So um, this is my favorite time of the month. I just got my new Allure Beauty box in the mail. So as per usual, I'm going to be unboxing it live here on camera. Um, so open it up, we've got our thingy, the way we always do, oh. We've got this guy too. So it says, there's a lot to unpack. Oh, I guess that's the thing they're doing now. It says there's a lot to unpack and then there's you know stuff on the back here. So um, they gave you a brush set this month. So let's uh, take a look and find that. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I didn't get the brushes for a minute. That would stink. Okay, so I think it's this La Russe brush set here. Vegan, cruelty-free, hypoallergenic, and synthetic. So um, this has been actually outside for a little while. Um, I was at a pool party most of the day, so um, this is a little warm. So let's see if that's had any difference in anything. So here's the three brushes we received. So we have a slanted one, sort of a pointy one, and then more of a round one. So it looks like the slanted one um, is uh, this guy, and it's more for like, uh, it's a shadow brush, basically. So. Uh, metallic bronze or gold eyeshadow, sweep the shadow along your upper lash line, use windshield wiper like motions like I just did to blend it up and out, pile on mascara, you've got a smoldering look in under five minutes. Um, so then disguise dark circles, that seems, all right, wait a minute. So look at this picture, Is this... am I micromanaging this? Like you can barely tell the difference between this one and this one. That, that's weird, I don't know, whatever, that's weird to me. So I think that uh, this is supposed to be the Disguise Dark Circles brush. Um, so prep your eyes with a moisturizing eye cream, tap a little foundation, tap a little um, concealer, and then fine tune is this guy. So this is uh, the perfect size for applying highlighter around the inner corners of your eyes. So that's nice. Um, something a little odd, uh, I would sort of expect the, the, you see the packaging, it's closed down here, it's open up here where the actual brush head is. I would think it would be the opposite because now I have to go against the grain of the brush hairs and also it's, it's a higher chance of the brushes like being contaminated. So I, I think that's a little odd, but that's just a packaging thing. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Um, and oh, this is cool. So, ooh, so these brushes feel really interesting. It's like, it's like that smooth plastic stuff, but then it's also got these little bumps, if you can see those. So it makes it easier to grip, which is nice. Um, they do feel nice and soft. It's, so for makeup brushes, it's, um, it's a thin line between you know being too soft and being too hard because you want it to be soft so it doesn't like feel bad on your face, but you also want it to like do what it's supposed to do. So um, I think that's a nice blend of those things. So that's our first thing is these uh, different shadow brushes. Let's see if there's a write up in here about them. Oh yeah, it's the first thing. Um, so these brushes are about the finer detail, um, manageably short bristles, $84 usually for this set of brushes. So that's pretty cool that we got that for free. Uh, well, not for free, but you know, it's in the box. Um, okay, so next is uh, Espa Clarifying Mineral Mask. Okay, so here's your clay mask here, this Espa thing. Um, so it, oh, okay, so if you look at the cap here, the cap, it looks like um, it's like mottled like this. For a second, I thought the product had leaked all over the place, but it doesn't. It hasn't because, you know, we've got this uh, this here. So um, this is a mask. Uh, this is kaolin clay and coconut oil infused. Apparently, this is supposed to help with redness. Um, I do have a touch of rosacea in my skin, so I'm excited to use this. I'm probably not going to do a mask right this second, um, but uh, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, it does have a vaguely coconutty smell, so that's pretty nice. Okay. Um, this is usually $34, um, and this is Espa Skin Care. That's where you can buy it. So I'm going to do an update after I use this mask and, and let you guys know how I like it. Okay. Uh, Don, Don Jinbi 1899 Single Essence. So it's in this little red container here. So it says, one of the many soothing treatments we've reached for to help heal the sensitivity experiencing due to stress and insomnia. This is a K-Beauty favorite. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory red ginseng ex extract. It hydrates. Um, it's a prep step for this person. It's $55 for 70 milliliters, and you can get it on Amazon. Um, and uh, yeah, okay. So this is a cute little container. It has the Korean on it, of course. 
Um, smell. Smells interesting. Um, it's not bad. It's a... Uh, oh, you know, it's sort of um, seaweedy, I guess. A little seaweedy. Hmm. Okay, so as I mentioned, I was out at a party most of the day. This is now the evening when I'm recording this. Um, and so to come back, my face is, you know, I put sunblock on, I have a little bit of makeup on, you know, it was party, I was trying to look cute. Um, and so to put that on my skin just now, uh, it does feel a little sticky. So my hands aren't sticky though. And my hand, well, actually no, my hands are sticky. Do you hear that? You hear that noise? They're sticky. So um, I was washing my hands quite a bit when I was um, at the party, you know, because it's still in the panini here. Um, so I wouldn't really expect my face to be a perfect canvas right now. Um, and the stickiness is going away, but it's, it's a little sticky, a little bit sticky. You know me guys, I don't, I don't like the sticky thing. So I'm going to try this again once I, um, once I wash my face, but, um, I'm not, I'm not loving the texture and I'm not loving the smell. So I guess we'll see how that, how that goes. Um, so the next thing we have this Oribe flash form finishing styling wax. So that's this guy right here. The, uh, the lid came off of it. Um, I have a bunch of Oribe products actually. I'm gonna probably do a hair care video at some point where I talk about the hair products I use because um, my hair is like half wavy, half just like nothing. Um, so like you see these straight pieces and stuff, like it just does that. The very bottom layer of my hair is perfectly straight. It doesn't matter what I do to it. Um, actually that, that has more of a wave in it than it usually does. So I finally figured out uh, what products work best for my hair, um, especially because the front right here is what doesn't tend to, um, to wave, which is annoying. And one of the products that I use is the or Oribe, this company, Oribe, um, it's the dry texturizing spray, which you're supposed to use more like, a um, either a dry shampoo or as like a, like a dry texturizer, like once your hair is dry, not like the, th not like the actual product is dry. Um, I tend to use it actually when my hair is wet. So I put it in when my hair is wet and then I use Brad Mondo's Wave Tech, but I don't use nearly as much as he recommends. I only use two pumps on each side and then I scrunch, 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 air dry, and it's, it's pretty much perfect. Even the parts that don't want to wave very much. So, um, I like this company, Oribe, but, um, their stuff is pretty expensive. I don't think I've ever seen anything from them under $40. This is no exception. A full size, full size is $42. Um, the only thing about Oribe is, uh, it's, it's easier to get on Birchbox. Um, Birchbox has a lot of Oribe products and of course Birchbox goes on sale all the time. So if you like this brand, I would investigate Birchbox. It's going to be easiest to get it on sale there. So it says, styling my thick, coarse, curly hair can be a lot. I like to flat iron it and then shake things up with this ultra fine mist. It adds buildable texture to create beachy waves while preserving my straightened hairdo. Water-based texturizing sprays often undo my hours long flat ironing. And this one has hold, it's a wax in spray form. So gone are the days of scooping out pomade and ending up with a spotted glob of gel somewhere on the back of my head. I've done that before. It tames flyaways, conditions, and it's humidity resistant. Okay, so this guy says, it just says attention, flat, or, oh, sorry. Shake and spray onto dry hair. Use hands to style until your look is taken shape. Finish with a final mist to hold styles. Okay, so I'm gonna shake this um, and let's just see what it does, right? So. Oh, you got it. Sometimes you have to push hard. So you see, um, you see in there, there's like that, that you have to break that. So there we go. Okay. So Oribe products all have the same scent to them. Um, so if you don't like the scent, it's a pretty strong scent. Uh, then that's sort of unfortunate because all of their products work pretty well and they all have that same scent. So that, I feel like that's a little bit more organized over here. Maybe it's definitely shinier than this side, right? So shinier. Less shiny? I don't know. So I also, I hate having too much product on my hair and I hate my hair being sticky. So that's, that's on me. Ooh. Oh, I think it helped that side a good amount. My friend at the party braided my hair. So I don't want to take those out. I want to see if I can keep them until tomorrow. So this side might be a little sort of gone down for the count. <laughs> um, so this definitely added some shine. It's adding some more waves, some more hold. Um, I think this side looks better, right? I think it's less frizzy. I don't wanna spray this on my roots because then it's just gonna look really shiny and it's gonna look like I haven't washed my hair and that's no good. So um, I love the idea of a spray wax because they're right, like taking a wax out and putting it in your hair and trying not to get like a blob somewhere, that's definitely a problem with using waxes. Um, waxes provide that pieciness that texture that a lot of people like, um, but you just have to be careful not to overload it because sometimes it can make your hair look uh, too greasy. And so like this side's almost, it's almost too shiny. It almost looks like, 
it still kind of looks like I haven't, I don't know, sometimes the shine sprays or shine things, it just makes me look like I haven't washed my hair in a while, even the bottom part, and I'm like, eh. So that's just a personal preference. But I really like Oribe. Um, I'm gonna use this product, uh, especially on second and third day hair to kind of refresh everything. So I'm, I'm very excited to continue using this. Okay. Next, Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Whipped Cleansing Cream. This is a pretty nice, like look at the size of this thing. I remember uh, my head as a unit of measurement, right? So um, this is a, a nice size. It's 100 milliliters. It says made in Italy. Um, this person has sensitive skin. It can become red or dry at the drop of a hat. So we rely on gentle cleansers. Oh, this is this has a plastic thing on it. Okay. Um, this is usually $35, and it's from Skin & Co. It's where you can purchase it. Um, oh, let's see if it... Oh, this is... Okay, you can't open this. So this was not sealed here. So um, there might be a little bit of danger of the product sort of coming out um, on, you know, in the box. Uh, that might be something that happened. Okay. Um, so uh, any directions in particular? Gently on skin, massage in circular motions. Wipe with a wet washcloth or face sponge and then rinse with lukewarm water. Okay. So, um, uh, oh, this also says it can remove makeup. So I'm going to test it, see if it can take off this. I put on eyeliner for the first time in like a year. Um, so this happens a lot with, uh, with gentle, um, these, these sort of creamy cleansers. This is the way they want you to do it. They want you to massage it onto your skin and then use kind of a cloth to take it off. Um, so I have another cleanser like this. Um, that's, they're really good for a first cleanse. So I've talked about double cleansing in a different video. Um, so first cleanses, it's always nice to have a cream cleanser. So, okay. It does have a bit of a smell. It... It kind of smells like like summer sunblocky, um, and actually, it's rubbing into my skin pretty nice. Like you can't even see it. That I put a nice like a I don't know a pea sized glob on my hand here. So now I'm just I'm not gonna use a a washcloth because I don't have one nearby. I was not prepared for that, but I'm just rinsing this off here. I mean, it certainly, it feels nice. Um, yeah, this feels nice. So um, I think $35 can be a little steep for some people for a cleanser, but you know, creamy cleansers can be difficult to find because a lot of things are gel-based. A lot of things, um, they want it to sort of lather too much and creamy stuff doesn't tend to lather. So if you're looking for a real cream cleanser, I actually only have one and it's like a no-name brand. I have no idea where I'm gonna get it again. So this would be, I think this would be a good option. Um, my skin certainly feels nice and soft. It doesn't feel, you know, dry or anything strange like that. Um, so that feels like it's going to be a good product. I'm going to I'm going to use that a little bit further too and give uh, more of an update. So um, the last thing that I have in here, because it said you're going to get one of three masks, and it's based on what masks you've gotten in the past. So the mask that I got is not. Oh, here it is. Um, so it's Erno Laszlo Multitask Eye Serum Mask. Um, in addition to making me feel glamorous, this uh, patches are useful. They contain alan, Allentoin, a moisturizing agent that offers enough hydration to help plump little lines and soothe delicate under eyes. So $16 for two masks. Um, I'm not sure if that means, so obviously you need two of them to put under your under eye area. Um, so I'm not sure if it's $16 for this or it's $16 for two sets. Oh look, my nails match perfectly. Ah. Um, I need to do a video one day on this nail polish company I use constantly. It's called Static Nails. Um, uh, there's a lot of nail polishes out there that claim to last two weeks. This one actually does. Um, so I use static. Every time you see me have nail polish on in a video, it's, it's pretty much static. Um, except maybe one. And even then I use the base and the top coat from static. So, um, $16 for, for this eye mask. This is going to be very expensive for those eye masks. Um, I've mentioned before, you don't actually need stuff specific for your eye area. You just need something a little bit heavier. Um, because this is the most delicate skin you have on your face and it, you know, it's sort of prone to those fine lines It's the same thing with your lips. It's it's the most some of the most delicate skin you have on your face My hand drying now from this this uh, face wash just feels really nice. So um, I love an eye patch I'm probably gonna use these once I uh, take a shower here wash the day off um, But uh, $16 is a little a little steep for this you can find these way less expensive That'll do almost the same thing. So um, that is my Allure Beauty Box for this month. I'm excited to try the stuff that I can't really try right now on camera. Um, I think the thing I'm most excited about is probably this Oribe, because um, anything to help my, my hair look more beachy, I'm, I'm a big fan of. Um, 
Second place is probably going to be this cleanser. Um, I've really been into cleansers a lot lately. I've purchased a couple when I probably shouldn't have because I already have a lot of cleansers. So I really want to keep using this and see how it is, especially um, from a, uh, a two cleanse um, step perspective. So that is my Allure Beauty Box for this month. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.